What's going on everyone? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 with me, The Pinnacle Plays. So this isn't a trick, I literally just walked back to the same place the last video starts. So we're going to continue with uh, this quest for Eskel. I'm gonna kill that. Uh, what's the name of it? Can't remember the name, it's that flying creature looking thing. Ambient music is so calming in this as well. That sword looks interesting, let's have a look. It's got some good buffs on it. end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench. Forktail is the name of the creature. Is the goat here? Yeah. Didn't tie itself to the stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. 
Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forked tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. Ends keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Come on, you're a handsome guy in your own way. Geralt, please, cut the crap. Shh, hear that? Incoming. There it is. I see it. Picked a bad day to leave its nest. Bastard! We can handle this. I've got to swap out my potions. You're slow dodging. Need to run you through the gauntlet. Yeah? Damn it, Perry. It's taking off. Shit. Focus on improving that. Overgrown reptiles. Hate it when they do that. Might have saved us some trouble. Let us kill it now. Mm -hmm. Then maybe gut itself around a spit down its throat and out its ass. Because it's not gonna let the got the beast that will manner. We gotta climb. Bit of exercise will do you good. From an artery. Blood's light covered. Can't fly much further. Scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have it. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Escalin Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Hmm. Might want to look around some. its lair looks like good means it's done fleeing gonna make a stand That was easy. All right, let's collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull.
Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Got the enhanced woven gauntlets as well. Well, the manuscript for them, or diagram. say to a little race maybe see who's faster roach or scorpion and who's the better rider not really a challenge because i could beat you riding a lame sow but why not you're a lame sow yourself first to care more hen wins I'm just not going back up, you know. Should have this one. That's close. Finally, took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime and we'll call it good. Done deal. would have got if I said give me something. There's a lot I didn't get around to looting.
There's a lot to loot here. Let's have a look around this corner. Oh, weak. I think we done most. We done that side earlier. Yep, let's uh, continue with this mission. Might be worth meditating now just to refill uh, the potions. I'll quickly do that. That might be something interesting to have a look at. Where would it be? Not anytime soon then. to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. 
Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Askel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Wow, I thought there'd be one bootable chest up here. So let's go, let's see how we use this. Far now. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Warmer. Warmer. Hot. Mounted witcher oh, just never took are. off. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, 
Let's check your conditioned reflexes. Nothing here. Yeah, I was just thinking this. There's a lot here that we didn't get around to looting. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. some pretty strange ideas. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kegnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Head mill in Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Ked Mil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Yakus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes. In legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone... You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen. 
All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Phobos, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. All right, what did I do this time? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Or three. I'll hold you to that. Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He got caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and Plowing, how's Triss? Fuck off, Lambert. Whoa, hit a sore spot, I guess. Lambert, not funny. Fine, conversation turned serious. Let's talk. 
Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Yourself. Night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh no. But we'll uh get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. 
While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data, ran some. Why is it not let me do anything? You guessed. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torhan, you were helping him. Advising, at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, but would never let me at the end. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself, as always. But then the whole plan went to the devil, literally. What do you mean? Beringar set out to hunt a chort. The fiend had made its lair in the valley past the keep. Don't know why, but he took all his equipment with him. Maybe thought I'd tinker with his sword while he was gone. You know what he was like. At any rate, the chort turned out to be strong. Too strong. Beringar had to turn tail. And since it's hard to run with four stones of kit under your arm, he dropped it all. Came back red with blood. And shame. Hardly said a word, and left soon after, never to return. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this chort's lair? <laughs> I knew you'd want to finish this. Easiest way is to take the river downstream, as far as you can go. But be careful. Berengar had his flaws, but he was a damn good fighter. If that chort's still there, you could be in for a wild ride. Let's have a look what this is, just uh, so we know. Cool, there might be something to pick up. After we've done all these missions here. Potions ready. Tools too. Good. Besimir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we 
it work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. Siri in there. She could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense. But I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just resting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Geralt, 
yellow flask in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Everywhere and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Saram. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. But if she moves, they will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Siri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I have Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. So this is getting super interesting now that, yeah, I think we're near the end. Um, looks like... Gonna have to get all those uh, witches that we saved. So... I think those are the allies. Maybe some other people and then go to 
Skellige last. But that will be the end of this part. Just wait for all these quests completed. Um, notifications are done. So we've done quite a few of these, so I think. Go to Novigrad first. Anyway, I'll, I'll decide what to do for that, and then I'll start the next video in the place where um, I decide to travel to. Thanks for watching, everyone. Drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next part. Peace.